Welcome to Easy Lathe version 1.7. This is a short video to highlight some of the new features of the DXF processor. Firstly, the pull down boxes. Operations. Now only turning, boring, trepanning, and grooving. And the direction pulled down. Cut right to left, left to right or follow polyline. DXF files. This version of Easy Lathe has added many new functions to DXF processing. Many are mainly applicable to polylines. Polylines may be selected as a whole from the polyline dialog box, whereas lines and arcs must be selected singly on screen. Selecting Follow Polyline from the Directions pull down box will assume the cut direction from what is picked and will not correct for individual entities do not conform. To pick lines and arcs for this processing is not recommended and usually fails. The other two directions will process all entities for the direction indicated but must be selected in the order required and the processing will close gaps in the selection. First up we will select in the normal way picking on screen and hopefully getting everything. We start here we pick all entities we process And there is the G-code. We'll now load that into the simulator. And there it is. We have a number of rough cuts, which are just straight cuts up to the final rough cut. We can pick lines of G-code. And denoted on screen where that is acting by a circle. We can move through the program using our O keys up and down. We can add the DXF profile. And just a quick comment on that, if we move in close, What we have is the finished cut and the DXF profile, but the workpiece is a small distance off that line. What that is, is the radius of the tool here, 0.2 millimeter. We can show that by Selecting a tool, a null tool, no width, no radius, nothing. Reprocess, reload, and there it is. The finished part is right on the cutting line. We can select using polyline dialog box when polylines are present. This is the polyline in question. It starts Z0, ends Z minus 24. So we'll just pick that. We won't reverse it, it is going the right way for our purpose. Clear, yes, and there it is loaded. We can remove segments that are not wanted on screen. That one, and we'll also remove 
this one and reprocess. And display. And that is now what we get, except for the folly polyline functions, easy lathe will simply add a straight line in where there is a missing segment. So it cuts up to where we remove the arc, straight line to where the profile continues on. If we now try follow polyline, we'll select the full profile again. Remove that one only. Reprocess and view in the simulator. Follow polyline simply takes the finished profile and cuts into the blank to the finished size using that profile, truncated as necessary to avoid air cutting. If we now remove a segment in the middle, we now have two polyline segments. We'll just process view in the simulator again. And what we get is machining up to where we remove the segment. And then it will rapid out to the safe X rapid to the beginning of the next segment, plunge in and cut that. It's a deliberate change to give increased flexibility of processing. If you did select lines and arcs and process as follow poly, that will happen to you even at the smallest fillet radius if missed. One last thing. The finish cut depth is yellow. This is to signify that we can put a finish cut depth of zero in there. The purpose of this is to make this processor produce just a single cut, the finish cut. So if we restore the polyline, Might as well leave that there and process. And that's what we get. The profile is just the finished cut once around and that is all. Thank you for watching.